Hi everybody. Today I'm here to read us a story called The Rainbow Fish. And the illustrator and author of this story is Marcus Fitzgerald. If you look at the front cover, you can see the shiny scales on the rainbow fish. He really is beautiful. Let's listen to the story and see what happens. Here is the title page. Title here again, the name of the story, The Rainbow Fish. And the author and illustrator, Marcus Fitzger. And there's Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just any ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. And I have my felt board with me, so I'm gonna put up the pieces to the story as we read it. So first we meet the rainbow fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. So all of the other fish wanted to play with him, but he wouldn't even speak to them. He swam right past them, proud and silent. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. So here's blue fish. He's asking for just one tiny shimmery scale from rainbow fish. What do you think Rainbow Fish is going to say? Do you think he's going to give him one? Is he going to share? Let's find out. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned and swam away when he came near. So now, the little blue fish told all of the fish friends that rainbow fish was rude and he was not kind at all and he wouldn't share his beautiful scales. So now, whenever Rainbow Fish comes near the other fish, now they turn around and swim away because they don't want to play with him because he's not being kind. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? Said Rainbow Fish. I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. So Rainbow Fish doesn't understand why nobody will play with him. He doesn't understand that he was not being very kind. So people don't want to play or fish don't want to play with others if they're not kind. The Rainbow Fish found the cave. It was very dark. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Here comes the octopus. I wonder what he's going to have to say to Rainbow Fish. 
The starfish called him wise. That means smart. Let's see. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. So the octopus is telling him, if you want to be happy, then you need to give away your beautiful scales so that you are not the most beautiful fish, but you will be happy. Let's see what the rainbow fish has to say about that advice. I can't! The rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Rainbow fish doesn't think that giving away his scales is going to make him happy. Let's see if he changes his mind. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. So now the rainbow fish is starting to think, okay, maybe I can give away just one tiny scale. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the blue fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the tiny, shiny scale in, in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. So rainbow fish decided to give one scale to the blue fish. And when he did that, he had this wonderful feeling come over him. He was starting to feel happy because his friend was happy. He made someone happy by giving him something that was so important to him. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. So other fish decided to swim up and say, hey, what about us? Can we have a shimmering scale? And the rainbow fish said, sure. I'll share one scale with everybody. And the more scales he gave away, the happier he became. So now he felt like he belonged with the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away. Yet, he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And that is the end of that story. The rainbow fish has a great moral to that story that... Just because he was the most beautiful, he thought, oh, I'm too good to play with you regular fish. I'm beautiful. 
But really, he had no friends and he was lonely and he wasn't happy. So he decided to listen to the octopus and the octopus said, if you want to be happy, then you need to give away what you have. You need to give away what you think makes you most beautiful. It's just because you're beautiful on the outside doesn't mean you have a beautiful heart on the inside. It means more to have a beautiful heart on the inside and share with friends, just like the rainbow fish learned. He learned that sharing, making him a kinder fish, actually made him happier in life because now he has friends who want to play with them. Nobody wants to play with someone who is not kind. So the moral of the story is be kind to others, right? We learn that a lot in our class. And it's a good lesson for the world. Be kind to others and that will make you happy. Have a great day.